Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 14th of 2022, well, it is titled 4000 exoplanets. So what do we see here? Well, here we will see the over 4000 exoplanets that have been discovered so far. Now we know that all of these exoplanets, we do not have images of them, we have simply detected their existence by various methods. And we can see that there will be a video clip here that will play that will show each year going back to 1991 and showing the exoplanets. Now there are going to be two versions of the video that will play the first one I'll play, I'm going to discuss a little bit about what's going on. And then the second time it plays, it will actually have an audio so I won't be saying anything but the audio will be played and there will be a tone that is associated with the uh, planets that are discovered and in fact the faster the planet orbits the higher the tone will be played so when you hear real high pitched tones you'll you'll know that the planets are very close to their stars very low pitched tones they are far away and that allows us to get some ideas of these new solar systems that are being discovered. So let's go ahead and play the video the first time here and we'll watch as we start in 1991 with zero exoplanets and the first two discovered in 1992. And those were discovered by a pulsar timing method. So they were actually orbiting a dead star. And even as we work into the late 1990s, we see that there's only a dozen or so planets that have been discovered. Now this number will vastly increase over the course of time. But as we meet to, into the year 2004, we see we finally broke 100. And the map is showing you where they are scattered around the sky. As we push up towards 2010, we'll see the numbers start to increase and we're now well over 300. And now we're starting to get some of the data from the Kepler satellite and we'll see a big jump here. In 2014, you see a massive jump up to the upper left hand side, which was one of the early releases of a lot of confirmed planets from data from Kepler. And we saw a second one in 2016. Kepler accounts for a large percentage of the planets that have been discovered about half of them. Now as we look at this we can look in the upper uh, upper left and upper right and it tells you the color coding tells you what how the method by which these were detected. So those first couple were detected by timing variations. Most of them have been detected through either radial velocity measurements in the pink that we see over here or they are also detected through the transit method and that is primarily where the Kepler satellite comes in and those are in the uh, light purple color. So those are the transit method when a planet passes in front of its star. Now you want to go ahead and play this again. Let's play it including the audio that will be included on the website and that again is a tone and kind of shows you when the how many were discovered and the how close they were to their parent stars. So let's go ahead and play that video here.
And what we got to see was that it, the, the planets, first of all, start out very slow. As you can tell, the earlier tones took a lot more time before we had uh, more planets discovered. And we can hear those big bursts when the large numbers were confirmed from the Kepler satellite. So we now stand at over 4000 exoplanets with more still being discovered and continuing to find more of those. The new uh, test satellite mission is also looking to find even more. So we can expect that over the next few years, this 4000 could likely double or even more. We will start to see even more exoplanets being discovered, which is a far cry from the only planets being known in 1991 being those within our own solar system. So that was our picture of the day for August 14th of 2022. It was titled 4000 exoplanets. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be wall of stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class. <laughs>